The next grammar point is the particle sa. The particle sa is added to an adjective and it gives an additional nuance of the meaning of similar to to the adjective. It can be translated to ish suffix with an adjective in English. For example, round is goal, but when you add sa to goal, goal sa, it becomes roundish. Similar to round, not exactly round, but similar to round shape, round like shape, roundish. Sa behaves like a variable adjective. It changes according to number, gender, and case. So let's take an example. Goal, as we said, is round, but when you add sa to goal, it becomes roundish. Goal sa park, roundish park. Park is masculine, that's why goal sa, goal sa park. Lal is red, when you add sa, it becomes reddish. So here, the noun is sari, that is feminine, that's why it is si, lal si sari. So you can see that sa changes according to number and gender. Sa for masculine, si for feminine. Kala sa kapra, blackish cloth. Cloth is masculine, that's why it is sa, kala sa kapra. Let's take some sentences. Wo goal sa park hai. It's a roundish park. It's a round like park. Humne goal se park mein khana khaya. We had lunch in a roundish park. Since there's a postposition here, the particle sa becomes se before the postposition. Goal se park mein. Lal si cycle sadak par hai. The reddish bike is on the street. Ladkiyan lal si cycle par hai. The girls are sitting on the reddish bikes. The particle sa also has another meaning. It often increases the intensity of an adjective. It can be translated as quite or rather. So, bada sa makan, a quite big house. Chodi si dukan, a rather small shop. Unka bada sa makan hai. They have a quite a big house. Wo chodi si dukan se masale lai. She brought spices in rather small shop. Mera ek chota sa gaon hai, jisme keval paanch ghar hai. My village is quite small. It has only five houses. There's a phrase made with the particle sa. It is ek sa. That means similar. Ye kapde ek se hain. These clothes are similar. Dono behne ek si hain. Both sisters are similar. Behne are feminine. That's why it is si. Ek si hain. 